Hello, this is Thurston here, and welcome to Chow Guide Part 2. I'm going to be focusing more on chow fruit in this video, and what effects it has on your chow. Alright, these are some of the different fruits you can buy from the black market. These fruits are very important, so I suggest that you get familiar with each one. This is the heart fruit. This encourages your chow to breed. You will need two of these if you want your chow to breed. Uh, your child will also breed once they are two years old, but they can only breed once that way. Uh, you, you can breed them as many times as you want using these fruit, of course. The only downside is, is that your child won't live as long, which you'll find out more about that later. And child life and all that. <clears throat> so these are the hero and dark fruits. The hero fruit will turn your chow to the, towards the hero alignment, and vice versa for the dark fruit, of yeah. course. Uh, in my opinion, these are just useless, yeah. because using your character, you can manually already do this by just staying there and constantly petting your chow, so it's kind of useless in my opinion. And this is the uh, chow fruit. Yeah. Just give me one. The chow fruit will move each skill of your chow up by half so five bars or five boxes for each skill including stem so they're very useful and they're only 200 coins so they're i mean 200 ranks sorry and they're very useful but i do not suggest constantly feeding your chow with these as if i mean as they may become picky eaters and nobody wants a chow that will only eat certain fruit and you don't want spoiled chow either, either, either. Sorry about that. Okay, this is the triangle fruit. Like I said before, this is like a duplication of this fruit. Chow that like the triangle fruit will eat this a lot faster. So if you really want to feed them and you want to level up their stamina faster, you can buy a bunch of these, but I don't really suggest doing that. In my opinion, it's kind of a waste of money because it's not really necessary and it doesn't really have any special effects in your chow or anything like that it can all it can really do is just cause your child to be even more spoiled than he already is all right also you can find out what your child likes best at the doctor so if you're really interested in that you can do that i'm just feeding this to him because well i gotta get rid of it and this is what the child fruit does, like I said. As you watch me eat it, you will see the stats go up. If you will eat it. Eat your vegetables! And there you go. And would you look at that? Pebbles is becoming a run type. If you see that little tiny stem in the middle of his ears, that means that he's becoming a hero run type. And when he matures, well, he'll become that. About the time that you see that is when you can really start feeding them and do that little level 9 trick I told you about because once you know they're gonna become what they're gonna become that's when you can really count on them not becoming a normal type uh... I guess I'll feed them later she, she doesn't look very hungry right now and the useless fruit uselessness of course it would take a lot more than one to change their alignment which is again why I think they're so useless in the first place of course in Sonic Adventure DX it is the only way to change your child's alignment 
since there are no dark characters that you can play as. A few of them may be dark, but then they will, in the story, they will become good down the road, so, yeah. The only thing really good about these is that it also does stand alone, but in my opinion they're completely useless. This I'm just going to sell because I would need another one, and plus I don't really like breeding children because their stats are much better when they're adults. And whatever the letter grades are will go to their uh, child. And because when they're mature, one of their grades goes up depending on what type you make them. I don't really think it's a good idea to breed children. Yeah. Of course, normally I would not be feeding my child so much. Alright. I'm just going to sell this because it's useless to me right now. And if I kept it in the garden, eventually it would disappear because I have nowhere that you can hide it in that garden. You can only hide fruit in the hero garden, I believe, which you'll see later. Ah, uh, yeah, huge texture glitch. Good thing I know the prices of most of the objects. And there's the round fruit. Oh, I also forgot to talk about mushrooms. Oh, I was going to buy two, but they go to this stock really fast, so. So, what the mushroom does is it makes your child side quicker, aka it makes them smarter. Um, how do you tell how smart your child are? Well, you can figure out which one's smarter, if you have more than one, obviously. If they both love you, assuming these two do, uh, yes, when you whistle, they will come to you. Whichever one comes to you faster, depending, well, starts coming to you fa faster is smarter. Since they both come to me at the same time, none of them are specifically smarter than the other. Everything will be okay. I believe Gizmo is becoming a fly type because his ears are longer. If their ears are flat, uh, the uh, hero fly type, by the way, not normal fly type. There's differences. All right, because dark and normal types both look the same when they're turning towards whatever their type is. But heroes are altered and different. I guess they spent more time in hero trial. I don't really know. Anyways, so I'm just gonna give him the heart fruit, or sorry, the mushroom. I do believe that he's becoming a fly type though, because his ears are longer. Secondly, like I was saying, if their ears are flat and spread out on their head, that means they're becoming a hero swim type. I don't really know about hero power types yet because I've never had one. I'm going to have one soon on my normal profile. So I'll figure that one out. Of course I'll tell you more about child growth later. Another thing about child growth that I'm going to mention. It seems that the higher their level in Stanima, the more noticeable um the type they're becoming. For instance, his stem seems a bit more noticeable now. Actually, a lot more noticeable now that I think about it. As well as the fact that um, Gizmo's ears are a lot longer. When he matures, his ears will spread out across the back of his head and kind of go to a point. It's really neat, the uh, fly type, and their head will go right narrow. Narrow, not narrow. Narrow is not a word. Don't know what 
hell I was saying. Uh oh, it seems I've upset my chow. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him his fruit. After he eats that, I'm going to pet him. Uh, hopefully. This will help my child get over it. Because I accidentally took his fruit away from him. Well, let's hope that he gets over it. Of course, eventually, Chow will forgive what you did. It's just, this helps them forgive you. Everything will be okay. As you can see, he's not as sad now, but still is. Excuse me one sec. I honestly do not get why Chow just sit there and go in the pool when they can't swim. Doesn't make sense. Everything will be okay. Okay. Oh yes, and now I'm doing the glitch where you pet two chow at okay. once. Everything will be okay. 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 Uh, that was interesting. Everything will be okay. All right. So it seems that he's forgive me, forgive me now, because he's not really. He doesn't seem very sad anymore, and he's more interested in drowning himself now. Yep. I still don't understand that. And that concludes episode 2. I guess I'll see you in episode 3 where I'll be touching up on child growth and child evolution. And focusing on child life. It's basically everything in that area. Everything will be okay. And see you next time.